tank of a redfish on the new Aqua Dream. What's going on, Salt Strong Nation? It's Matt, and I want to share a really quick on the water report with you guys. Now, this on the water report was actually shared with our insider members, where we actually went on uh, satellite imagery and we were able to share, pinpoint the location, and share all of the tactics that were actually successful for us that day and the trends that we found in that area. Now, I was actually fishing this area with our traveling fishing coach, Pat Ogletree, and we were able to find some really nice fish, but we were able to do this by looking at our new salt strong smart fishing spots app where we were able to go into the satellite imagery and we actually have a layer here where we're able to identify oyster beds uh, inside of the imagery just as you can see here we were able to identify the oyster beds in this area and then go work uh, the oyster beds as well as the uh, seagrass that was also in the area I just wanted to share with you that we do have a lot of amazing information with this new Smart Fishing Spots app, and that's just one of the key features that allows us to be successful on a daily basis. So without wasting any more time, let's get into this awesome on the water footage. Now keep in mind that we do share all of the location with our insider members and they get discounts on all of their fishing tackle that they use out on the water, including the things that you're about to see in this video. All right, Salt Strong family, I didn't actually film an intro for this report because when we got to the water, it was so windy and I didn't want to try and have yeah. to talk over that. But I do want you to know we were able to get there first light and we were getting an incoming tide yeah, for most of the morning. Of and we decided to start working the outside the edge of these oyster bars that we identified in the pre-trip plan. Uh, we saw some bait hanging around the oyster bars, so that was the obvious place to start looking for these fish. I'm on. We got us a fish on the wake bait. Feels like a trout, y'all. I saw that bait up there. Some monster trout. Don't want to lose this one like I did the last one. It's in. That's a nice trout, man. Y'all, we got our first fish. That wind was just an unwelcome surprise and the wake bait just seemed like the right idea. Really nice trout, y'all, on that wake bait. I got that wake bait on a TFO professional, seven foot, medium fast, and man, it is perfect for running those shallow diving crank baits or uh, those wake baits like I do. They are awesome and it brought in this really nice trout and I'm gonna go ahead and let this fish go get another one let's go let's go pat okay nice pat's on a flounder oh he got the professional quick release y'all they're in here so we moved in to just inside those oyster bars and started to work in these grass lines uh, figuring that with that water coming up that the fish may have pushed in some and uh, we didn't really find any of the drunk. fish that you we see? were looking to target we didn't find any redfish or more speckled trout so we decided to make a move so i'm thinking we shoot back to that other side and go up in that back creek area i think that's where our best protection is going to be a little bit of wind, a little bit of turbulence, a little bit of chop. Truthfully, man, I think the outside edge of this thing is gonna be bust for redfish. Uh, I just think it's it's way too choppy out here for redfish. So I'm thinking we'll just send it, just go ahead and push around this corner because of this wind and current. That wind is tough, ain't it? I can't uh, make any headway. As you heard me say in the footage, I was actually having a tough time maintaining position to be able to effectively cast into that grass line. But I was still having some trouble, so what I then decided to do was go ahead and switch over to the Gold Digger on the new Aqua Dream rod and push into this grass pretty well so that I could effectively fish it. Either. Nice redfish on the Gold Digger with the new Aqua Dream rod, man. Go 
gorgeous redfish. On that Aqua Dream rod, y'all. Perfect for this kind of application. The tails on these fish in here, Pat. Oh, going the wrong way. There we go. Beautiful fish, only one spot. No spot over here. Any, many, mighty, tiny heart shaped spot, man. Nice. Beautiful redfish on that gold digger, crushed it right there on that point. That gold digger is absolutely crushing it right now. Oh, and he was feisty too. So after catching that fish and talking to Pat, we realized that we'd started to find a pattern that these fish were pushed deep into this grass. So if we were wanting to find them, we were gonna have to get in there with them. So we pushed and pulled our way in where those fish were. Whoa, Pat! I just watched, I don't know how many, man. Just everywhere. They are deep in this grass. Need your flipping rod to get in here. I think I'm gonna paddle in, like push into it. It looks like it opens up a little bit up there. Maybe I can get to it and just pitch in that hole a couple times at, at the opportune spot. So that's what I did. I pushed and pulled my way into that grass until I could get to an open area where I could cast effectively. Once I, I pushed tailing, in and Pat. started targeting these tailing redfish, tailing I right chose to put away the gold digger. I knew that these redfish were nose down in this grass, foraging on the crustaceans, snails, crabs, whatever was in this grass. So I wanted to kind of match the forage that they were looking for. So I pulled out the Power Prawn USA Junior and found a good position that had a little bit more wide open space to where I could survey the water around me a little bit better to find a fish. Got him. Tail and redfish right there. I'm on. Caught him tailing. Really nice red. Seen him tailing. On that Power Prawn Junior with that Haas Helix, man. It was perfect. Sat right down in that grass for me. Right in front of the redfish and he smoked it. He chomped it. Woo! Yes, sir! Power Prawn USA. With this dial of BGMQ, y'all, this thing is performing. Woo! Yes, sir! I've been watching them in here tailing, and I knew that Power Prawn USA was gonna get it done. Power Prawn USA. That USA Junior crushing tailing redfish every day, man. Caught him tailing, pitched that Power Prawn Junior USA right in front of his face on that Haas Helix hook, and he could not resist it. Let's go. There's some monsters in this grass, man. I saw one up there that had a tail like this. Look, they, they're everywhere in here, man. It's super exciting, so fulfilling. When I just caught that fish, that was exactly what I needed. Do you still got the fish? Oh man, I came over here to get a double up picture.
After regrouping with Pat, we decided that the right idea was to continue working the inside of these spoil islands, but the points and cuts were going to be the high probability zones, so that was what we worked as the tide started to come out of that grass line. I'm on. On the gold digger with the new Aqua Dream rod, man. Perfect. The new Aqua Dream rod, y'all, on the gold digger. Really nice. Let's go on the gold digger crushed it on that new aqua dream rod that thing handles amazing this thing is awesome for these super small finesse presentations running them on bottom for these big tail redfish let's go awesome awesome eat these uh looks like these redfish are feeding on the crab the crab feeding on the snails big circle of life gold digger I'm on. Let's go. Another tank of a redfish on the new Aqua Dream. On the new Aqua Dream rod with the gold digger. Y'all, this Aqua Dream rod is amazing. I'm throwing a Z-Man Pro Shrooms jig head with the gold digger, and these redfish cannot resist. This might be the best one today. Hit it like a freight train on that point right there. That's up slot. Yeah, he's heavy. Gorgeous fish, man. Golly, what a beauty. Definitely best fish of the day. Now, if you're wondering where I caught those fish or you would like to know, uh, we do share all of that information with our private insiders inside of our private insider community at saltstrong.com. So if you think that that information or some amazing discounts on all of your fishing tackle, be sure to check us out at saltstrong.com. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we are the number one online fishing club in America. We actually guarantee to help you find and catch more fish, save money on tackle, make friends while doing it, or it's free. So we hope to see you in the Salt Strong Insider Club soon, and thanks for watching.